Hi guys, so it is Thursday morning and we are going to be going out to some yard sales. I'm off to a little bit late of a start. I wanted to get my packages together um, this morning because I'm going to stop at the post office first. Um, so that is why I'm running behind. There's not a whole lot of yard sales today. There's a little bit more tomorrow. So we'll see if we find anything today or not. But stay tuned and let's go shopping. I've been seeing a lot of packages from this company, Shine. I've never ordered from there before, but I did look at their website and they do have nice clothes. There's a pair of short bams. Yeah, bye. how much they are but we'll find out. I think the clothes are 50 cents. Some bags. Got Steve Madden. bits in that. I just oh, saw okay. this at the last yeah. yard sale. Yeah. Edges here. This one's a Dooney. What do they got on that one? I got eight on that as well. But again, there's somewhere. I'm just not committed. Not committed to that. This one's a little Clark bag for two. Silver. 
And these are like a really nice gold. You know, since they're only a dollar, I'm just gonna get all three of these. It's a little trinket box. It doesn't shut very well though. Alaska reindeer. It's an empty box. There's like a ton of dolls over here. They're five dollars each. Spider. <laughs> that one's pretty. I guess fifty cents. A lot of clothes. Or a basket. That's interesting. It's got a fish on it. That is such a cute bag. Good. Ooh, grape soda. That smells really good. It's a little Nivea set. It's got moisture and milk and honey for a dollar fifty. I may get one of those. You're my only yard sale, but it looks like I don't have to get it anymore. Barbie's. She's 
said you can get two for 15. Do you want to play with that one? Yes, I do. I'll give you the extra five. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Jerry. It's Department 56. It's like a slice of is that cantaloupe. Holly Hobby, three dollars. A newer one. are pretty.
been a little while since I, uh, you know, did a haul here in my car, but um, we're going to be doing that today. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of yard sales, like I said, so um, tomorrow there's a bit more than what it is today. I was just blowing off, like, in one of my last videos that Thursdays is always, like, my best yard sale day. <laughs> there really wasn't that many today, but I still found a lot of good stuff, so we're just going to go over everything that I got. I got these coach snow boots. So these are in the style Sherman Signature. They are a size eight and I paid $10 for these. They look to be in really good condition. So um, I did see two listed in this size. I think one for like 80-ish and the other 100, but those were brand new. Um, these aren't brand new, but they are in, I would say, like new condition. So. I definitely think I'll still do well with those. At the same sale I got that, I got a lot of good stuff. I got this Kate Spade purse. So it's just this really pretty pink, um, kind of like nylon material. And it was $5. I thought that was a good deal. There is a little bit of like dirt mark on it, but I think I can clean that up. I mean, it has some wear. It's not a new purse by any means, but I definitely still think that once I get it cleaned up, um, I should be able to sell it. So I thought that was a great deal for $5. I also bought this little coach bag. This is just like a makeup bag. Um, or wristlet. I mean, it might have at one point had a little strap here, um, but obviously you can still use it as like a clutch or a um, just makeup bag, like I said. So that was $5. And then I got this, and I'm probably just going to keep it for myself. It's by um, See at London. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's called Everyday Vacay. It's coconut setting powder. So it's just a makeup. It was a dollar and it's still sealed, so. I wanted to see if it smelled like coconut. I can't really smell anything because it's sealed up in there, but I thought that was a good deal for a dollar because it's a higher end brand. As always, you'll have to excuse how I look because it is hot outside. All right, this thing was just so interesting. I, I had to get it. It's old. <laughs> I don't know exactly like what year it's from, but okay, so this looks like a pair of ladies um, undergarments. There's still a tag on it. It's called the Hosiery Hamper, a Loren design by Co Gobi of California. So like I said, it's definitely older. I don't know what year it's from, but you can tell just by like the tag alone. Um, so it has a hanger here. And then I guess you would just put like your lingerie, um, like your your dirty lingerie in here, like your panties and your bras and stuff. Maybe like when you're traveling. I'm not sure. I don't know what this is, but um, it was inside. It just looks like a floss of some sort, but it's on this like really old looking um, thimble. Uh, I don't know. Um, this wasn't marked, and the lady wanted $2 for it because it was so old. Um, so, but because it was so unique and interesting, I was like, I'm just going to take it for $2. So, I don't really know if it's worth much, but I also really like the fact that it still had its original tag on as well. So, you guys know that I can't stand when things aren't priced at yard sales. And what is even more infuriating is when you check out... And the people just have kind of like papers on the table that tell you like how much something is. And then when you check out, they, they give you a different price. This happened with all of these shoes that I bought. You probably saw it in the video. Um, the sign said that all shoes were a dollar, but she charged me $2 a pair, which isn't like the biggest deal. They're still worth $2, but I thought I was getting them for a dollar. But regardless, I got a lot of nice shoes. So these first pair are these black patent um, loafer slip-ons. These are by Bowden, which is a nice brand. They were originally from TJ Maxx. It looks like the person got them on clearance for 10. And then I also took these two pair, and these two pair aren't like, um, like super great brand by any mean, but um, since I thought I was only getting them for a dollar, I, I, you know, figured I could still at least sell them for maybe 20. So these first pair are a silver 
Loafer by Steve Madden. It's just a slip on. I really liked the look of those. And I always like clean up the shoes before I lift them. And then these were the other pair. The girl definitely liked slip on style shoes. These ones are by Bass and they're just a really pretty like gold metallic. These honestly look like like new condition. And I think they're all a size eight. No, these ones are a nine. So so instead of a dollar a pair, they were two dollars a pair. And then also, also at that sale, I bought this mug. It's just a pottery mug, but I like the colors on it. And then there was like this swirled design throughout. And this was 50 cents. And the lady said that it was made by a company called Star Pottery, which was like, she said it was like down the street a little ways. So it was definitely like locally made. So I thought that was really cool. I got a pair of bib overalls. And these are by Gap. They're just khaki and they are shorts. They're not actually, um, I do, I'm seeing a stain on the butt, so I'm gonna have to wash them and hope it comes out. I, when I clean and if I see stains on something, I use Shout and that, that usually brings out any stains that I do happen to come across. Um, so hopefully that comes out. I did not notice that. Um, but they are a size large and by Gap and I paid 50 cents for those. I got this bowl. Um, it says it's for eggnog and it has kind of like a Christmas themed. I do believe that this would have come with um, cups, but there weren't any cups there. I'm pretty sure this is by Anchor Hawking and I'm not quite sure what it's worth. The only one I saw um, actually did have cups with it and it was listed for like a hundred and some dollars. So I'm expecting to not get as much just since I only have the bowl. Um, but I decided to get this. Like I saw um, the advertisement on Facebook and I had noticed this bowl sitting there in the picture because they had posted some pictures of the stuff at the sale. And I'd say, um, okay, it's like two o'clock now. I got there like way after lunchtime and it was still there. So that kind of surprised me and I only paid $1 for it. So we'll see if it's worth anything. I got this vase at a yard sale. It's not marked or anything like that, so I can't really say, you know, who made it. But I liked the shape of it and the coloring. It almost just reminded me of, like, wood. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, like, the paint job. Um, but, like I said, I just, I don't know, I really liked it. So this was 50 cents. I got all my glassware in bubble wrap. Since I've been buying a lot of glassware lately, when I leave, I always bring bubble wrap with me so I can wrap it up. I got these two dessert cups and I don't know if this is uranium glass or not. It looks like it would glow um, with black light so we'll see but they're just like little dessert cups. The yard sale had um, another one but it was a different design and I would have gotten it but I, I liked that there was a pair of these and the other one didn't have a pair. So I let it sit and I swear the yard sale across the street had the same exact one. Like it was the pair to the other one. So um, that yard sale that I went to, the lady said to come back tomorrow because she's gonna get more stuff out. So I might go and if that other little cup is still over on the other side of the street, I might grab it and have another second pair. So they're a little dirty, but I can clean them up. So I also got this little Lucky Cat. So I don't know if this is older or not. It's made of glass, like a clear, a clear glass. I just thought it was so cute. I rarely find these little Lucky Cat figures and I thought this one was so adorable. So I grabbed that. And then I also took this perfume bottle, this glass perfume bottle. I loved the look of it. It was very like art deco. So super pretty. And um, so I bought this stuff at the same sale. I bought that Yognog bowl and yeah, all three, the dessert cups, the perfume, the Lucky Cat and the Yognog. And she charged me $5 for everything. So I thought that was a good deal. 
I picked up this perfume. It's vintage and was 50 cents, so you guys know I just like picking up vintage perfume. I didn't look it up, I don't really know if it's worth anything, but 50 cents. And then I got some um, crafting needle kits. This first one, I thought it was so cute. It makes a pair of kitchen towels and they're little owls. So that's brand new, still sealed. Um, it just says it's a progress creation. I had never heard of it, so. But I thought, like, the owl, to make owl kitchen towels, that's really cute. I also took this one. It's just a tiny one called Quick Quick Kits. That's a tongue twister. It's from 1989, and it makes a little doggy. And it says, I could get involved, but indifference is so restful. I thought that was really cute. It comes with like a little frame so you can hang it after you're done. So these are all a dollar a piece. Then I also took this kitchen towel. Um, it's to make a kitchen towel that has like an apple basket border. I thought that was really pretty. That's by Wonder Art. And then I got this set, which I thought was really cute. So it makes a table runner as well as a matching kitchen towel and the look is it's called geese and ribbons so i got those as well so a dollar a piece for those so five dollars all together so that is everything for uh this haul i figured i'd probably just put it with the footage from today because like i said there wasn't a whole lot of yard sales but i still think i found a lot of good stuff um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you next time